six. A special day out at the Coliseum. Not only was it the fourth annual pink out, but the IPFW women's basketball team continuing the record-setting season looking for win number 18. Don's in second place in the Summit League hosting North Dakota State. Stephanie Rosado, a force inside today, gets the bucket and the foul. Game high 18 points for Rosado. And Bozy normally hits from the outside, this time inside the arc. She had 14. This one all IPFW. Southside product Sydney Weiner with two of her 14 points. Also to go 10 boards. Jordan Zoop, one of four Mastodons in double figures. She had 18. IPFW now 18 and 7 on the season, 12 and 3 in the Summit League. They win 79 46. We had a really, really good practice yesterday, and it carried over to today. That is by far and away the best defensive and rebounding effort that we've had all year. These games here coming up are just really important, and I just had that mindset and I just that confidence that every rebound was going to be mine. IPFW will host South Dakota State Monday the, on uh, Monday at the Gates Center at 7 o'clock. Also a special day for the IPFW men, Senior Day. On the day, it would be Trey McCorkle, though, the junior. Just a beast inside, scores with the little baby hook. Then it's McCorkle showing the range. Hitting from outside, then underneath the hoop, the arm. McCorkle, a game-high 22 points. Some nifty passing by the Mastodons. Michael Kibalowski ends up with it. He hits the deuce. The Don set another record. They get win number 17, 73-61, the final. Over at the hut, number 21, St. Francis or Huntington taking on number 14, St. Francis. It's Dejavon Sawyer Davis hitting three of his 23. Huntington answers inside. Kellen Zawadski, a team high 27. Back comes St. Francis. So Q Owens, he would have a game high 30, but it wouldn't be enough. Shane Merriman had 17 as the Foresters get the win, 87-84 the final. On the women's side, number five, St. Francis at Huntington. The Cougars, Julie Cease, Bucket and the Bump. She had a team high 22 points. Megan Pribble, the Southern Wells product, drives the lane for two. The Foresters, tough at home though. Britta Cooper doing some baseline work, hits for both sides of the bucket. Lauren Meese has 13 for the Foresters. Huntington gets the win, 75-57 the final.